welcome to Scott Plays and beautiful sunny day here in Cambridge. Now it's been a while since I recorded anything and even longer since I did a gameplay video. Um, and that's kind of the reason I'm making this video. Uh, the, the reason for the, the long time since I recorded anything was that I'm finding it difficult to make the time to do the kind of videos that I normally do. Um, the, the full playthrough videos, they take a long time to record and edit and for various reasons I just haven't been able to do that recently. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to start a new series of videos on my channel. Um, the gameplay videos will not be going away, those will come back at some point in the future when I've got more time. Um, but for now, uh, so that the, the channel isn't completely dead, uh, my plan is to make shorter overview videos. Uh, this will allow me to do two things. One is, as I said, to, to keep the channel alive and get videos up. Uh, more regularly. Uh, the second thing is that it will allow me to cover video, uh, cover games that I can't easily cover um, through my normal gameplay videos. Um, multiplayer games, for example, uh, that the only way I could do a gameplay video is to play multiple sides, and I don't like that style of gameplay video, uh, which is why I, ha I haven't been doing them and I, I won't do those in the future. But with this overview style of video, um, I, can, I can talk about those games and, and give you my, my thoughts about them without having to do a full, game, full playthrough. So yeah, that's where I plan to take things in the near future. Um, I also wanted to talk about a topic that's been coming up fairly often in the, the uh, board gaming community uh, of late, and that is inclusivity in gaming, um, in our hobby. And I don't want to go into a huge amount of detail about this, um, other than to say that for me personally, there is nobody I won't play a game with. I I want anybody that I game with to feel welcome at my table, uh, to feel included, and. And I hope that I hope that, that is the case. I, I think certainly with the people that I play with, that that is the case. And it's, um, but it is something that because it's been talked about a lot recently, it's something I've I've started to try and take notice of. It. Are we being inclusive? Um, and I, and I'm not just talking about gender, uh, race, sexuality normal things that get talked about in terms of inclusivity. I also uh, want to include all types of players, you know, if you are a more thoughtful player and you take a bit longer taking your turns, that's fine by me, you know, I'm, I'm not the quickest player myself, <laughs> you know, and a lot of my friends will tell you that. And I want you to feel, no matter how you play the game, who you are, where you come from, what your background is, anything, I want you to feel comfortable if you play a game with me. And hopefully I, hopefully that is the case. Um, I think we can only try to improve on that, and I think it is down to everybody in the community to do that. Uh, you know, this, and it's not 
you know, it's it's wrong to say that it is a problem of the community. It's not. It's a problem of society, and the community reflects society. But as a community, we can do better. We can make sure people are included. We can make sure that people don't feel excluded. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to say about that. Um, I probably will also do a few more videos like this, um, where, where I've got something to say. They won't be very long. You know, this is going on for five minutes long. Um, so yeah, hope you uh, keep coming back to the channel and I will definitely be producing more videos in the, the near future. Thanks for watching.